supposed to actually, it's not like the normal unpaid ones where it doesn't matter if we succeed or fail because they're not paid. This is paid. But I have no idea where we're playing. We're supposed to do a sound check at 6, now 6.37. Speaker looks like it doesn't, may not work properly. And Sam's just socializing. There's no need for like any sort of genital nudity or we're all friends here, but what are the three S's? There are quite a lot of people downstairs. Everyone's gone. Yeah. Most of them. Alright. So what do we do? Hey guys, Sam. Hey. Yeah, great. I think the show's going really well. We thought we were playing at a certain time, and we got all prepared and costumes on, came out, and there was no one there. And they said they were inside watching a show. So we waited there for about an hour and a half, just ready to play. And they were like, oh, oh they left through the other door. Yeah. Everyone's gone home. And uh, I felt like, I felt that was the end of Monkey Monkey Shake Shake. They just used us just some decoration of their event. And I was feel like um, wallpaper. What? Zero part, what does that mean? See, and I'm gonna have to do it again. At 6.30. I hope it's gonna be different <laughs> than the last one. So we were looking for some galleries and our gorgeous friend, Nikki, Beautiful friend Nikki um, had some connection. Yeah, Nick, Nikki had the show there, and we all went. And the owner, Blada, she was really lovely. I was a freeloader at the last Big Fish party and saw Monkey Monkey Shake Shake play there, which was like pretty. I guess I wasn't sure if it was a joke or not. And then I loved that I couldn't tell the difference. And then Nikki hit me up and said that. Monkey Monkey Shake Shake wanted to do another thing and we did it here, which is funny because it's tiny, but it worked pretty well. It was small and intimate and had really good energy. Sam's art was awesome. He painted canvases. We made a comic book. We had prints. It was first, uh, first my sold canvases. So um, thank, thank customers. We have customers? I guess because it's such, a, it's such an immersive experience, so many people came off the street. I think that's what made it really big because a big chunk of people that were here didn't know about it and then came the next day and were like, what was that? <laughs> I still don't know how to describe it. But before the event, people would ask what it was and I didn't know how to describe it. And post-event, I still don't know how to describe it. But I just really like that it makes people happy. In Seoul, it was sort of like artwork, and then we did a few performances, but it felt like junkie. The performance was sort of up the level. And um, yeah, that's why I packaged up one of the clips and sent it to Splendor. You have the monkey, monkey, shake, shake! Yeah! We play no fucking blues! Yeah! We play no folk! We do not fit into 
of the Shire. And um, we're so happy that they've chosen us to come up here. Thank you, uh, people, stupid people. <laughs> Let's go! I almost didn't go because um, I was expecting the kind of usual blues and uh, folk and um, all that kind of stuff that the local buskers get up to. With Monkey Monkey Shake Shake, it's much more like a Dada kind of punky explosion, you know, like it really stood out from uh, what else was happening there that night. We came here to, to um, Gin to kind of try and seduce them. And I, I remember thinking, Sheldon, it seems a bit suspicious of us, you know, and we're kind of offering free spotlight um, gift cards and, you know, trying to tell them how awesome craft was. So Splendour and the Craft, it's four days of free workshops hosted by some of the best crafters and kind of artisans in the country. Um, all sorts of things from making God's Eyes to a punk quilting workshop to making um, LED lampshades with milk bottles. We're kind of like a little pirate satellite thing. We're sort of outside of the rest of the festival and, you know, we do our own thing. We thought that would be perfect for Monkey Monkey Shake Shake. Went off. Really went off. One more time. No. Turned out to be great. Amazing. Yeah, love Sen it. every Sensational. second of it. It's the it's the first one, and it's the it's got the bass line, and you're thinking of your room. Super fun, super catchy, and impossible to keep out of your body. Everybody go! People are always excited to see something that they couldn't expect, you know, that they couldn't imagine themselves. It's like, what are these, what are these, what are these guys going to do, you know? And then once they start doing it, it's just delightful, you know? At dusk, which was the best performances, I think, of the weekend, sun's going down a little bit, we've got a little bit of ambient light in the tent. Once that helmet goes on, it's like, it's, it's literally electrifying. I think it makes Daft Punk look really lame. Let's go! People bring their friends again, and uh, some people um, came to the show more than twice. Yeah, that's really quite great compliments. I took my first fan photo. What? What was it? People stopped me and. Oh, cool. They usually stop him because he's in the costume. Yeah. I had to go like this. Billy's here now. <laughs> like, Billy's and take a photo. Yeah, I'm nearly 48. That's... I can die now. Sugar, maybe some banana, lots of maple syrup, dollop of cream, put it in your belly, isn't it a dream? Do the little flippy.